bunch of reds on next to you. Well, you, you, I guess it's your show, so I guess that means you're the home You may have been. I think that's probably right. everybody welcome to after further review with steve tower hope everyone's having a great week uh we are back uh with the bat flip uh which is a uh, campaign that's on kickstarter right now and it is almost over uh we are looking at a live shot of the kickstarter screen uh and they just went over twenty-one thousand. pretty exciting so it is more than reached its funding goal uh and there is also going to be an additional team uh uh in addition to uh, what has already been uh, shown uh, at the last minute, there was a backer that uh, is sponsoring a new team. And uh, if you are a backer on the campaign, you would have gotten uh, an update uh, that you can vote on it. And that voting is still live. Uh, so if you've not had a chance to check out the campaign, uh, you've got 12 hours uh, as of <laughs> this show here. Um, and we are very excited once again to have the designer of the game himself, Scott Corlander, uh, joining us uh, virtually here. And we're going to run through uh, another game on Tabletop Simulator and uh, see see if I can go 2-0 and against the game designer himself uh, or if he's going to even the score. So, Scott, welcome once again to the show and congratulations on a, a very successful campaign. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Steve. Um... You were one of our, our early champions, so it feels feels very fitting to to come back here as we're closing off the uh, the end of the campaign. All right, well, yeah, great. Um, it definitely was a game that that grabbed me right from the first time I saw it, and uh, very happy to to see the success of it. Um, so any any final thoughts to share about the campaign process, or anything you've learned? would do different excited about for the future gosh um so i, I think a, a, a big thing that's come through is just the the importance of building community uh and you know they say they, they talk about bringing the crowd when you're crowdfunding and uh i think if you talk to a lot, most crowd funders they would probably agree that no matter how much they did they wish they did more uh sure. so between that and just sort of paid marketing you know i think uh you know, we, we started trying to reach out and on social media and get in touch with people like you, um, you know, really in earnest, probably about six months ago and probably should have been going hard with that for, <laughs> I don't know, a year or two. I, I have no <laughs> idea. Um, but you can never have too many, too many people in the crowd. Uh, so that was a big one. Um, it's been wonderful uh, getting feedback from the backers. Uh, and a lot of them have just like really like on point great ideas and and just like really great gaming minds that are the kind of people who back on Kickstarter and people who are dissecting the rule book and asking for clarifications that, you know, will help me realize like, oh, we really do need to like make that clear in the rule book and stuff like that. So um, it's great just getting so many people who uh, who really care about the game and getting their feedback has been really wonderful. Excellent. Great. Well, um, Great. Yeah. So one of the things I've noticed with uh, with Kickstarter is now it, it does seem like it's sort of strayed from its initial uh, concept, and that now it you need to be 
hitting the ground running on day one and kind of have everything in place and have, you know, full prototypes uh, up on the screen and out to, you know, reviewers. And uh, so it was it was very refreshing to see a first time designer, uh, you know, in a smaller company get a, a success on, on Kickstarter um, and kind of, I guess, get back to <laughs> what Kickstarter was was originally meant to be so yeah and and also that it's a baseball themed game uh is a bonus so um again I'm really happy for uh for your success and i hope it i hope it leads to to more so um Me any too. Yeah, uh, too. rule changes or anything that have come up during the campaign or as you've continued to to tweak and um not really. So uh, the cards that we've been playing with here on Tabletop Simulator, um, a lot of them have had little tweaks like stat changes or clarifications on the rules. Uh, so we, we've talked about how the, the juicers uh, are, are overpowered as they exist in Tabletop Simulator, so they'll be off limits. Um, uh, I think... I think I can't remember how we played early. I think that it was in time for this rule that uh, when you defend a steal, it comes off the top of your deck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, a, that's a change that's, since the rule book has was originally put out. Is, correct. Correct. Um, and uh, the only other little little tweak is um, so there there's a, a minor issue that comes up only rarely where. Um, the person on offense has no cards in hand at all. And the the strikeout rule allows you to discard a card in order to draw. And you can't do that if you don't have any cards. Um, and so what we've sort of worked around and figured out kind of works is if you get yourself backed into that corner, you just play a hitter blind off the top of your deck. And if it's a pitcher, it's an out. Oh, okay. That works. Um, and yeah, I do have to say that must be a rare occurrence. I don't think I've ever gotten down to maybe three cards in hand. But... Uh, so there, so I mean, there, especially like, um, there are a lot of things you can do that will be sort of card disadvantage. So if you're drawing a lot of walks uh, and using a lot of discard abilities, uh, or and especially if you have a team like uh, like the money bags who will force you to discard oh, your own sure. uh, cards, uh, we we have had play testers who have just <laughs> just cannibalized their own hand. Uh, it comes up very rarely, but if it does, that's that's what we settled on. Okay, all right. Well, it and it's good to find things like that before you send up uh, you know the game off to the printer. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We I'm not I'm not, I'm not a fan of rules updates that uh happen after the fact because <laughs> most people won't be aware of them it's just a headache to have to catch up with them uh, sure yeah which unfortunately has become <laughs> kind of a product of our time well, day, day one well, patch, I, mean, right? also, so... I mean there were there's an argument and we've actually discussed it internally um about just making the rule book completely digital mm. and just basically having a qr code on the box being like here's the rules and more and more games are actually doing that, uh, both as a like a thing that's good for the environment because you're you know producing less waste, uh, but also just from a, a cost standpoint that uh, you know everyone's got their phone next to them anyway. Might why not just bloop and bring it up that way? Sure. Oh, okay. Is is that a decision that has yet to be made for the campaign? Uh, right now, we're planning on having a printed rule book. Uh, but, uh, we may it actually maybe something that we pull the, uh, the backers on and see how they feel. If, if there's a strong, uh, contingent, or even if there's, you know, like, like a third of them that are just like, we really want to have something physical. I feel like you should let them have it. Okay. All right. Good to know. Um, and can you give us a, uh, a, a quick a sneak peek rundown of the two potential new teams that the backers sure, are voting sure. on? Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. This is um, so, you know, a lot of what I've been dealing with over the last uh, month is, you know, all like um, more businessy stuff and to sort of get my hands back in the creative side of the process again has been very exciting. Uh, so uh, the two teams that have been um, 
I'd say 90% designed at this point, uh, are the Portland Traders and the San Diego Super Pals. <laughs> and um, the, the Traders, the mechanic they're built around uh, is the trade mechanic. And basically, um, there are sort of like how the Stars and Scrubs have like good players and then crappy players. There are players in the deck that are not great that you probably don't want on your team but also cards that have this trade mechanic which allow you to trade any card that you want from your hand for a card at random from the other person's hand mm. uh, so you're giving them your worst card and getting something probably better um and so uh <laughs> what, it, what it leads to at least in play testing is like it get it can get like really silly um especially if you trade them cards that have the trade mechanic and then they start trading, forcing you to trade. Oh. <laughs> um, it, 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 so that one's sort of like the, uh, the more silly chaos team, even though it has a less silly chaos name. Uh, and the other one is the, the super pals, uh, which have, are built around the mechanic assist. And what they basically let you do is um, any player that has the assist ability you can uh, play them instantly or uh, discard them really and take any one of their stats and add it to a player that's in play. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you've got a hitter who's a two and you um, discard an assist player that has a hit of one, their two becomes a three. Or if you don't quite have the juice to field something, you can discard a player with assist and they would add their defense to whatever defender you're playing. Um, and so that's one where uh, we're going to have to do a, a touch more play testing before we send it to the printers, just, just because uh, sort of like the juicers, uh, the potential for just being really overpowered is there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that one we're going to make sure to, um, to get that right balance. Um, but yeah, so th th and they're, super, they're super pals because they help each other out. And <laughs> they assist each other. I have to say the super pals have my vote for <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Uh, all right. Um, well, with, uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can settle our series here. If I can, mm -hmm. if I can sweep you. So uh, we were talking before, I believe that I was the home team last time. Uh, so I will, uh, I will let you be the home team this time. And um, we'll, uh, oh, whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, oh, there's, <laughs> the card's not double-sided on the tabletop. Yeah, in real life it go. is, but not in uh, none here. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. So, uh, let's see. So, it's the away team that chooses first, is that? Yep, you choose one, I choose two, and right. then you choose the last one. All right, so um, let's see. So last time I used the, uh, it was the Bangers and the Stars and Scrubs. And I'm tempted to use this. The Stars and Scrubs are still my favorite squad to use, but I think I'll uh, I'll choose the Aces. Mm, uh, this that time. was on my short list. My first choice. Okay, okay, okay. So you're gonna be stifling my offense. That's gonna be annoying. Uh all right, you know what? Uh I'm gonna take the uh the dirt bags. Oops, oh. that's not them. Yeah, I'm gonna try and be <laughs> knock this stuff out of your hand if I can. And uh then we kinda need some firepower. Of course, then again, that could be interesting too. Um, yeah, you know what? This could be interesting. I'll, I'll take the uh, the pinchers. Oh, okay. That will be interesting. Okay, so let's see. I want to go small ball. I think I'd, yeah, I kind of want to show a couple uh, different teams. So let's, 
I'll, um, for some reason there was a clutch guy hanging out by himself, so I'll, I'll have the clutch be my, mm. my other squad. Uh, so that's actually sort of a classic combo that you've put there. Oh, okay. Put together there. Um, uh, because you've got the, um, you've got the aces to keep it close. Both those games like to play close, tight and close. Mm hmm And, uh... So essentially, you 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 keep it tight and close, and and stifle me, and then just sort of erupt in the third inning, supposedly. All right. Well, that's that's the plan. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Oh. I will... okay. It's been a while since I use this. Is it? How do I grab the whole deck? There we go. Okay. Uh, like that somehow. There we go. All right. So, um, oh, I guess I will be going. I'll draw my cards. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, and I actually discovered that if you hold your cursor over the deck and just hit a number, it'll draw that number of cards for you. Oh. Oh, that's handy. Okay. All right. I will. Yeah. And then did we we knew about uh holding alt when you're like over a card? Do we know about that? Oh yeah, to um to, to enlarge blow it. it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um there we go. I'll set up my cards and I'll show them to the hmm. the fans at home. Is the um Let's see. Do I have the cards in the right spot so you can't see them? Uh oh, I totally can see them. <laughs> oh. That's Oh, I needed to drag them down to the bottom of my screen, I think. Oh, that's weird. What's going on? And now they're <laughs> I can't see my like um that little like uh, pocket to put. Yeah, them in. is it because we're both on the same? Uh, I don't think so. Cause I think you should have your like your own next to me. I don't know if you want. Maybe you just throw them back in the deck and see if you can draw them again. Yeah, I wonder if it's. Let's see. Oh, or I wonder if it's because we're all on the, or we're both on the same side, so that, like, tabletop thinks we're on the same team. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I, I feel like this wasn't a problem last time. Like it never, it didn't. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see. So you said you hit, or you have the cursor over it and just press a number and it deals you that many. Yep. There we go. Okay. There we go. And now you okay. All right. There we go. Little um <laughs> little technical hang up. All right. So, uh for anybody that didn't see the first time, um you'd get your initial deck of uh or draw of five cards. I'm just going to move my deck up here so I can uh, and then we each can have a chance to, we can play a starting pitcher at the start of the game. So uh, do I choose first? Uh, yes. A way team. Okay. I mean, I think, I think it's sort of like, actually in theory, it's sort of like Pokemon where uh, you, you both sort of reveal a starting pitcher simultaneously if you wish. Oh, okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to forego uh, throwing a starting pitcher out there anyway. So don't worry about it. All right. Um, you know what? I think I am going to play a pitcher. I want to play Bump. Um, All right. You've got um, Corey Crucible just sort of hanging out on the uh, table there. I don't know if he was part of your original hand. Oh, he might have been. Oh, oh, down here. Oh, yeah. I think he was... All right, I'll put them back in the deck and then shuffle it up. And then you've got a, a couple cards hanging off the corner of the table. Oh. 
And those are my... Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Okay. Now we're ready to go. All right. Here we go. Uh, all right. In that case, uh, it's better up. All right. So, uh, as a quick recap, uh, you when you play your batter, you can do uh, you can try to draw or get a hit, uh, draw a walk, uh, or you can intentionally strike out. Uh, which that's a rule that has changed as well. Um, right, it used to be you had to discard a card to. Uh, so it still is have to discard a card. Uh, but if you have no cards in hand, then you can just play off the top of the deck. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So, uh, since you do not have a, a pitcher up, uh, I think that I, let's see, who would be my, I'm going to clear some of these other teams out of our way. Well, you know, I'll see if I'll try to make you burn something first. So, uh, Mateo Entrada is going to come up and he is going to try to hit. All right, Mateo Entrada. Um, oh, and you're oh man, you're starting bump fireman. I, I missed that. That's <laughs> he's so good. Oh yes. Um, all right, so he's hitting a ground ball of one. Oh, so you're literally just trying to get me to burn a card. It, yes, yes. Or maybe catching you without a fielder <laughs> with the ground. Uh, um. Yeah, well, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll play Glenn Switch. Okay. Uh, for a defense of two and get him out. All right. And then Glenn uh, takes his spot on the mound, and we'll use him for his control of three. So you'll need uh, an eye of four to walk. All right. Well. And we both draw a card for the out. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, uh, Felipe Nudillo is going to come out and draw a walk. Okay. Okay. You can have your little walk. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, let's see, and I guess I am going to do um, my bat flip. So, uh, here, I'll bring my bat flip up here, and I will flip that over, and let's see what happens. And, oh. Uh oh. I got uh, Freddie Will. Banging right. a double. So it'll be a double. All right. Yep, so he has a hit of two, and that gets him a double. And because it's a bat flip, I, of course, cannot uh, defend against it. All right. Let's see. I will not have Felipe try to steal home. You sure? <laughs> um, oh, boy. Oh, and actually, I didn't mark that out when we did it, but... Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Boop. All right. Um, hmm. I think... Well, all right. I will play uh, Avant Tigre uh, to try to hit. All right, Yvonne Tigre, and his deal is, uh, all right, is not the third inning or later, so he's just hitting a grounder. Uh, yeah, well, we'll go ahead and defend him with Sean Scuzz. Oh, okay. Who will replace, uh, what's his name, Glenn Switch. And so... Uh, his defense of three will overpower your hit of one. Okay. I'll get us the second out and get us each a card. All right. Uh, so, but now the trade-off is that he only has a control of one. That is true. But I've got an open base. And you have an open base. 
Oh boy. All right. Hayden Focus is going to come out and he is going to hit. All right. And this is just a fly ball of three, huh? Just a fly ball three, yeah. <laughs> just a fly ball three. All right. Well, I was prepared for this eventuality. Oh, nice. And uh, I will defend him with Antonio Crud, who has the injure ability. Uh, oh. Which means I get to look at your your hand, make you discard a, a card from it, and then you get to replace it. So that happens before we draw for the out. All right. So those are my two cards. Oh my gosh! <laughs> You've got you had all the aces. Oh my uh, yeah. god! All right. Who's going to be the most annoying? Uh, that's pretty annoying. For deck. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. We're going to dump Santiago Bola de Fuego from your hand. Okay. And then you get to draw one to replace him. All right. And then we both draw for the out, and the inning is over. All right. So we'll strain two. And there's no score as we head to the bottom of the first. Well, that's okay because you've got the clutch and they, oh yeah uh, so actually with <laughs> yeah all right so i'm my walking game is completely shut down by your control of four and uh oh i didn't draw a card for the out and oh i can make that work maybe Cheers. Uh, game. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, I can see this working nicely. Uh, okay, so I'm going to lead off with Tyler Proxy, who is going to hit for one. Hmm. And his ability is if I happen to substitute for him, I get to draw a card. Oh goodness. Um, okay. And so are, are, I don't know. Are you familiar with the the substitute ability? Um, actually, I don't think I've played with the pinchers. So uh, is that all right. So any time you can. So um, yeah. So the 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 substitute ability is essentially literally any time I if someone has that ability. Now, granted, he doesn't, and anyone on the you know the other team I have the uh, the dirt bags won't. But anyone who has the substitute ability at any time, you can bring them in for a hitter or a runner, mid at bat, mid play, whatever, and replace them. The person they replace goes to the discard pile, and then you use them as the hitter or the runner instead. Oh, okay. Um, so, so one thing you'll have to bear in mind is anytime I play a player, I might be trying to bait out the right kind of defender. Right. Okay. And make a sketch. Um. Oh, so then when I commit a defender, he's just out there. Correct. Even when Correct. you're substitute. Okay. Uh, now, if it ends up that your defender um, isn't applicable, so for example, if um, you put uh, a guy who defends ground balls down right now, and then I substitute in someone who hits fly balls, uh, you don't just lose the defender; he just bounces back to your hand. Okay. All right. Um. But Let's you don't get to replace. He has a speed at two. I think I'm gonna let him get a hit. Uh, all right. Well, I am going to discard Hector Batiador, and I'm gonna reveal another card in my hand and give it the substitute ability. Oh, okay. And the card I'm going to reveal is. Saul squeaky clean. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Okay. Uh, so uh, he's going to substitute for Tyler Proxy. When I substitute for Tyler Proxy, I draw a card. And then because you, there was no defender and he has a hit of four, that's a dinger. Wow. Okay. Whee! <laughs> but you do get to draw. 
but you get to draw a card for um Saul's the one person on the dirt bags that likes to play clean. That's why he makes up for it by giving you a card. And um, so you'll draw a card for his uh, rules text and one for the run. Oh, okay. All right. And I will also draw one for the run. And it's one nothing. Which is exactly where I wanted to be. I want to be down by a run. That's exactly you. You want to be down by basically exactly one run, exactly. Right. <laughs> then you start shutting me down with your aces, and get ready for that big comeback. Yep. Oh, that would have been nice. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's try. Usniel Sencio, when another player substitutes for Usniel Sencio, return him to your hand. Return Usniel to your hand. So usually it would go to my discard pile, but instead he goes back to my hand. If, oh, wow. If I substitute for him. Okay. All right. And, and he has, uh, he's just a hit sorry, You said he's batting? He is batting. Well, yeah, he can't walk. Oh, right. Well, he could. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> he's stupid. Um, Oh boy, and he has a four for a steal. Huh. Well, unfortunately, I didn't really draw that well. Well, you can let me have first base. Um, Leave no defender again. Yeah, right. <laughs> <coughs> um, gosh, because who do I. And you can't have a well. I mean, I guess you could. Um. All right. I'm gonna let him get the hit. All right. I'm going to substitute again. All right. I'm gonna substitute in Cliff Locum, bumping this guy back to my hand. And if Cliff Locum is a batter and there is no defender, he gets plus two hit this at bat. Wow. So he is gonna add two to his hit of one and hit a triple. Okay. And actually, you know what? With his speed of four, I think uh, we with that hit, it unlocks the ability to steal home. Uh, I think I am going to attempt to steal home. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, but fortunately, I have Jackson to steal. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Out at the plate. Collision at the plate. After all my fancy card work. <laughs> that's that's what I was really hoping you would steal a base. I was like, oh, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So you both draw for the uh, for the out. All right. And the game is afoot. Game is afoot. Okay. That could be interesting. Okay. Uh, you know, let's uh, let's let Hank Grimes bat. And when if you play defender against him, you discard a card at random. Ooh, wow. What is he gonna hit? A triple. Wow. I'm not a big fan of the dirt bags. <laughs> yeah, they're they're assholes. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, I mean, he's definitely not gonna steal home. Let's see. Do I want to get rid of a one of these guys? Hmm. Oh, although uh, I'm assuming that playing a pitcher does not count as playing a defender. Uh, a pitcher is a defender. Oh, a pitcher is a defender. Okay. Oh. Um, They'll all be happy for you to take Bump Fireman off the hill. That'd be great for me. Uh, yeah. 
All right, because then that would still, I'd still have to dis and it's discard a card at random. Yeah. Oh boy. All right, I'll let him. I'll let him get the hit. Woo. All right, man on third. And yeah, that should work. All right, there are. There's one out. Okay. One out, one run in. One, out, one run in. One out, one run. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bat flip. Oh, okay. And let's see what we got. Come on, pitcher. Oh. Hey, that's not what I wanted oh, to happen. Oh, hey, there what? we go. <laughs> Everything's cockamimi. All right. Technology and... is not being our friend tonight. What? There we go. And let's flip it. It's a oh, it's a pitcher. Yes. <laughs> uh, however, I do have have a designated hitter in my hand. Oh, okay. Pablo Designado is going to come in for him. Okay. And so, uh, designated hitter, when you bat flip a pitcher, you may replace them with this player. So, he's going to come in and hit a double. All right. And that'll knock in Hank Grimes. And so, that'll be a second run, and we both draw a card. Okay. And let me rotate this the correct way. There we go. And what? Why? Why did you oh, do oh. that? <laughs> What's going on over there? I don't know. I, I feel it's almost like there's like a, a magnet there or something that makes it want to. All right. Boop. Okay. There we go. Whatever. And draw a card. Okay. So we've got two nothing, man on second. He's not great when it comes to running. <laughs> In fact, he has a speed of zero. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> gosh, one out. Okay. Station to station runner, I believe they call that one. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, Earl Weaver ball. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, I'm actually I'm actually going to take a strikeout. Okay. Uh, so I'll take an out. I draw one. You draw. Or excuse me. I draw two, and you draw one. Okay. Oh, what's going on? There we go. Let's see if that actually helped me at all. And I think that has not helped. That's a shame. Ooh. Yes. All right. <laughs> That'll be fun. And if not just silly. Okay. Um, so I'm going to discard Tommy Mame for his discard ability of injure, then injure again. Oh, boy. So you, yeah. So you reveal your hand. I knock something out of it. You replace it off the top of your deck. And then we go through that process a second time. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Put your deck for a pitcher. We don't like Kurt Workhorse. Pablo Curva is. Le oh, Pablo Curva is real good. All right. Three fly ball. Try Uncle from your hand. Dual runs in your opponent. So he gets better. Uh, I think we're going to knock out Kurt Workhorse, however. Okay. And you get to draw to replace him. And then we go through that process again. But I don't get to see this last card that you draw. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I mean, that one, that one I do. But after this, the one you just uh, drew, I get to see. But after I force you to discard, you take everything back in your hand. And oh, right, okay. And defense is equal to your pitcher's defense. Ah, oh, geez. <sighs> what do I have in my hand here? Oh, yes, that's important. Okay. Uh-huh. Fly ball. 
Pablo Curva is your DH. Tanner Ribby is a good defender who's clutch. Charlie Uncle. Uh, all right. I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to dump Pablo Curva from your hand. Okay. And so you take those all back and uh, then draw your replacement card. All right. And then is there an easy way to get the cards back in um, here? Uh, so you can do like a, a drag and grab? No, to get them back in your like hidden spot. Uh, usually there's, there's yeah, there should be like a uh, like little hidden spot yeah, icon, which not... seems to be the problem that we have. It's, um, it only does, oh wait, there it kind of goes. Oh, okay. All right. All and right. Then I get to draw. All right. One now more. we're back to playing ball. Okay. Uh, all right. So now uh, you get to draw your replacement card if you didn't. Yep. And now I'm going to play Diego Sociedad. And he gets plus three hit if your opponent discarded a card from their hand this half inning, which you just did. Okay. So that's going to be a four fly ball. Wow. All right. Um, well, then I'm gonna, uh, discard Charlie Uncle to bring Bump back into my hand. Oh, I didn't look close enough! And then no. I'm gonna play Bump. All right, well, that'll get him. All right. Oh, man. What, uh, what an oversight. <laughs> Still play. Okay. Uh, well, there, so you got two runs. There we go. And they both draw for the out. Yep. All right. And uh, Sean Scuzz comes on. Oh, actually, you know what? Your opponent discards a card from their hand. You may also discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. Well, too late. Whatever. Oh. If he's still on the mound, well, next time I interview you, I'll keep that oh, in mind. okay. All right. Let's see. So he's got a control of one. Uh, let's see here. Uh-oh. Mm, I've kind of done that, too. Interesting, interesting. It's amazing how many things you realize you can do if you read the text on your cards. Uh, yeah. So I... <laughs> that is. What a, what, what a great insight from the designer. Yeah, yeah, from the designer himself. <laughs> Um, huh, I, let's see, all right, I'm going to have uh, Javier come on and walk. Oh, okay, and he is speedy indeed. Um... Let's see. And then. Oh, um. Yep, that resets. Yeah. I think now I'm going to do my bat flip. Okay. And oh no! Oh, do you have a DH in hand? I don't. I did. Oh right, I discarded yeah. him. Oh, that, yeah. let me just make sure that nobody. Had, yeah. Oh darn. All right, one out. Okay. Um. All right, I'm gonna play Andrew uh, to to hit Andrew Rosenbag, uh, and so his when I play him, I can search my deck for a pitcher card, put it into my hand, and then shuffle my deck. All right, so until you 
get through that deck. I know that your aces have all been used. Uh, so oh, maybe... yeah, so I don't, I actually don't, oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, well. But, I mean, obviously there's some pictures from the uh, the clutch that are available. Yeah, all right, so, so that's all, right, all so set. so he's hitting for one? Hitting for a grounder one, yep. Grounder one. Don't think there's anything particularly sneaky you have in there as options. Uh, who here can defend a grounder? It seems like a little bit of a waste, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, Aiden Muck is going to defend him, and he will do the injure ability. Um, so okay. show me those cards. Boy, I wish there was a shortcut to shortcut drop, drop your deck on the table. Um, actually, if you if you like drab, uh, drab, that's not the word I mean. Uh, drag and oh, grab. Oh, yes. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. So we've got Dennis Dependable, who I'm not worried about yet. Uh, Tanner Ribby, who uh, could come up in the clutch. Alejandro Perfecto, his defense is an issue. Richard Schur is also clutch and a good defender. And then Corey Crucible, if you have fewer runs than your opponent, a player of your choice is out. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. So we're going to dump Corey Crucible. All right. All right. And then I get to draw a card then, to... Uh, you draw a card to replace him, and then we'll both draw a card for the out. All right. Okay. Oh gosh. And then batter up. All right. Let me. And you do have speed on the bases for what it's worth. Uh, yes. Yes. Um. I actually think I accidentally picked up your guy. There you oh, go. Okay. And I'm. I'm having that problem again. The cards don't want to go into my. Oh. Or. Oh. Okay. There they are. All right. Now and he also needs to. There we go. Okay. All uh, right. Looks like he's got um, one card. That didn't make it. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's um, let's have Tanner uh, Tanner Ribby come out. So he will get um, plus two. So he's a two fly ball. Uh. It's going to be plus one, actually, uh, because you need multiple runners. No, it's uh, plus one if you have fewer runs, plus one if there are two outs. There's one out. No, the, oh, we didn't move the thing. I think it's just, I think, uh, didn't you have this guy let off and walked? And then I just got, uh, what's his name out? I think, I think it was only, I think it was just the one. I thought that was that was the second out. Yeah, because this. Um, oh, you're right. You you bat flipped. Uh, you yes, bat I flipped bat flipped a, a pitcher. pitcher. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So there are two outs, okay. and so he is a three. You're absolutely right. All right, so he is a fly ball of three. Can we do anything about that? We. Both can and will. Oh, all right. Carlos Ray Plazo is going to defend for four. Okay. Ooh, I got a shutout going here. <laughs> all right. But I'm almost ready to recycle my deck. So. Yeah, then your your pitchers will all be reactivated. And you get still got bump fireman on the mound. All right. And we both draw for the out. There's a lot of baseball left to play. A lot of baseball. Uh, all right. Oh, that's a 
that's fun. All right. Gosh, I, I can't shake Bump Fireman, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to walk in this game. Uh, all right, let's try this. Uh, we'll have Use Nelson CO uh, attempt to hit again. It's a hit of one. If I happen to substitute for him, he bounces back to my hand instead of going to the discard pile. All right. All right, I'll have uh, Richard Shore defend. Oh, he's real good. All right, Richard Shore defends ground balls at a rate of four. Well, I actually am, in fact, going to substitute for use Nelson CO and hit a fly ball that Richard cannot field. All right. So Richard bounces back to your hand, and that's a that's a dinger for me. Oh, okay. We. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, three to nothing. Three nothing. Both draw for the run. Yep. Well, that's pretty good. And is that that happens? And that happens. That happens. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll have Kyle Filth come out. He hits for three, but uh, first he's going to injure. Okay. go all right that's a defensive three trevor oh reset your bath card that's dangerous greg pressure cambio is good oh we can defend against the bat flip that might be the guy we have to worry about his equals your pitcher's defense oh man you got a great hand and I gave you Richard Schur back. Dependable. His defense is equal. Jeez. Okay, yeah, you got a very good defensive hand. Um, I'm going to... Let's knock out... Uh, I'm going to get out of there. Cambio. I don't want you defending against my bat flip. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry for messing up your last line <laughs> of guys. I'm not going to drag him again. All right. Oh, come on. Drum roll. There we go. Okay. And, and then you get to defend against his, uh, oh, I guess draw the replacement card and then defend against his hit of three, All which right. I know you All have right. <laughs> many options to do. Yeah. Um... All right. Yeah. So we'll. Uh... We'll have Richard Shore come out and defend that. All right. And my guy is toast. That's our first out. All right. And my deck is recycled. recycled. All right. You shuffle that guy up. Yep. Okay. Oof. Uh, oh, that worked nicely. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and bat flip. All right. All right. And how do I get a single card off the deck? It wants to go sideways again. Oh, and it's oh. hitter baritter. All right. That'll be a triple. 
All right, who hits a triple? And he's got a speed of two. I think I am not going to press my luck this time. All right. <laughs> All right, so we've got Harry Hitter Blitter on third. Let's see if we can get him home somehow. Uh, all right, what are my options here? What's your deal? Man, I, I, I'll i tell you, I uh, I super wish you didn't have Bump Fireman on the map. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, all right, I'm going to play uh, Spike View. When a defender's played against Spike View, your opponent discards a card at random from their hand. All right. It's just a two. All right. I can't let you get ahead too much, so I will defend. Great pressure. All right. So then you will do the discard and then draw for the out. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, trying to think what's the easiest way to do a random card. I guess if I put them in a pile and I can shuffle them. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll do it. All right. So he, oh, okay. That didn't work out too Bye, well, Dennis actually. Bye, Dennis. Depend Okay. Oops. So basically, my... All right. That's the second out. God, I got this guy on third. I want to get him home. I don't know that I have any more tricks up my sleeve. Or do I? Okay, let's uh, let's see what this makes you do. Uh, all right, I'm gonna play Enrique Hardenero. When another player substitutes for Enrique Hardenero, advance all of your runners one base. Oh wow! Um, wow, geez. So I guess you're definitely getting that run. Um, well, yeah. if I substitute for him, you don't know if I am going to. Well, <laughs> I can't imagine why you wouldn't. Um, yeah, there's like nothing I could. Um, let's see. Who do I want to? I guess I gotta have somebody. All right, I'll have um, Alejandro will come out to defend. So he'll have a defensive right. four. And he's out. You, oh, he didn't have a substitute? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that was a good bluff. I. <laughs> Yeah, I was. I don't. I don't know exactly what I was trying to to bluff you into doing. I guess burn a good card, or maybe let him hit. If you were like, oh, well, he's gonna score anyway. Yeah, well, that's uh, what I was almost thinking. But then I realized there's no sense in holding on to my catcher because if I don't score here, the game's over. <laughs> in this next half. All right. All right. So here we go. Uh, we are down. All right. Three, three to nothing. Three nothing. Uh, let's see. Is uh, what's his name still? Carlos yeah, from Plazo. Yep, he's still in. All right. Just uh, oh, and he's gonna help you with exactly what you want, which is laying base runners on. Well, I need 
be. Let's see. Um, All right, uh, Diego is going to come out to hit. And he will have a hit of four. Yep, is equal to your pitcher's defense. I think this is the longest I've ever kept a pitcher in. Yeah, he's been in the entire game. Yeah. With the exception of being bounced to your hand for a hot second. Right, yeah. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, I knocked a bunch of your pitchers out of your hand, for one, uh, that might have replaced him. Yeah, this is interesting. You might, you might see uh, the rare complete game happen. <laughs> uh, all right, let's. Uh, we'll defend him with Yusnel Sencio, who has a defensive four. Oh, wow. Okay. There's one big out. All right. Um... Down by three, down, two outs left. All right, I am going to bat flip. All right, and while you're doing that, I'm going to reshuffle up my deck. Okay. Uh-oh. Now I... There we go. There we go. I couldn't... Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I... You got a DH? I do, yes. Yeah. All right. So, yes, Pablo will, will come out. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good one, too. All right, so that's a triple, huh? Yes. All right. Get him on third. Whee! All right. All right, man on third. One out. Down by two. Down by three. Yeah. All right. I'm going to have Jackson Steele come out and walk. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. It's time for Juan Hero to come out. Right, He's a hit of four, Hero. and uh, only a pitcher can defend against him. No, oh, because you have more than one runner. Okay. Yeah. Only a pitcher. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh oh, did I do it? <laughs> no, you didn't quite do it, but it's still not great. All right. Oh, wow. All okay, right. so, so it'll be a Deki Turkeru. Yeah, I even named him and I can't say his name. Uh, it's going to come in, hold him to a triple. All right. Oh, so two runs will come in. Two runs will come in. Woo, that big boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And we each draw two. All right. Uh, let's see. And still one out. I feel better at least having you have used up that bat flip. Well, all right. You ready for this? I don't know. <laughs> Am I? Travis Eisbins is going to come out. Ice veins. And, He's got ice yes. veins. So I get to flip my bat flip. Oh, crud. Um, and then I am going to discard Mateo and Trotta. And so his uh, at bat is going to be four for this at bat. Oh, geez. Look at you. Okay. So he is in a ground ball of four. And he's reset your bat flip. And yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh. Oh yeah, and you just scored two, right? Oh yes. So we want yeah. to get that on the board. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, you can you can have that dinger. Wow. Okay. Ooh, 
And inside the park. <laughs> and inside the park, ground ball dinger. And suddenly... Oh, no outs, and you are up 4-3. Four, 4-3, three. Four, three. yes, uh, one out. Oh, no, no additional outs. Oh, no, right, yeah. Out. All right. And we each draw two for the two oh, runs. Yes. Yeah. And if you uh, find yourself over seven cards, don't forget to discard down. Yes, yeah. Uh, let's see. And he has a two control now. Hmm. Um. Wow. I suddenly am out of. <laughs> Um, out of cards. Let's see, do I have... Um, Take a strike out? I could. I could also... I could also bat flip again. Um, I'd like to get a, somebody on base. I can't believe I don't have anybody that can walk. <laughs> I used up all my good card. Yeah, alright, I think I, I will strike out. Uh, let's see. Who do I then want to get rid of? Um... Um... I'll, uh, discard Charlie Uncle. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that... Well, maybe it worked. Alright, so Hayden Focus is going to come out and draw a walk. Alright. With his, uh, his I3. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to bat flip. Maybe. Yeah, if it'll let you grab one. Why does that? Right. It seems like it's sort of random that if it'll let you grab one. All right, here we go. Yeah, I have no idea how it decides. Oh, oh no. my God, it's, it's the exact same guy. It is. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to hit. Oh, boy. All right, well. So we'll All head right. to the bottom of the third. But you did it. Took the mm -hmm. lead thanks to a... Um, just like an absolutely perfect draw to set up those combos. Five, six, seven. Um, I, need, I need to discard down. Oops, and I actually have. All right. Cards. So Bump will come out to. Finish if he can finish the, game. finish what he started. Have Have you ever seen a complete game? Uh, you know I haven't, not once. So this this could be a history in the making. Wow, okay. but you've got, but you've got so many good pitchers. I cannot believe that in stifling this uh, attempted rally, that you're not going to be able to do something with another pitcher. Uh, yeah, I I guess we'll see. What? <laughs> Uh, oh, that can be handy too. Okay. Uh, oh, I oh, still have flip over your bat flip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I need to dump one more guy. Oh, that, these are all so useful. I don't want to dump any of them. It is hard to when you have to discard somebody. Uh, all, all right, right. So here I'm we go. Back. Big finish after trailing the entire game, rallying the bottom of the or the top of the third to take the lead. And let's see if all right. I'm, I'm also dumping you, Nelson. See, ya. okay, okay, here we go. How are we gonna do this? How am I gonna score these runs? I, I just need one, one to take us to extras and two to win it, two to walk it off. Hmm. See, ah, uh, seems like I should be able to do it. Okay. Except I sure would like to be able to walk. 
That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. All right, let's uh, let's open up with Antonio Crud hitting for three, but the injure happens first before okay. you get to defend. And Ivan Tigre does not defend well. Richard sure sure does. Ribby does fly balls. And can oh you've got a bunch of good defenders. Cambio also does fly balls. Uh yeah, we'll dump uh we'll dump Richard sure from your okay. hand. Then you get to replace him and then defend against Antonio. All right, and he has a two. Uh, he has a two indeed. Two, okay, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Freddy Will will come out to make the play. There we go. One out. Two away from the shutout. <laughs> the complete game shutout. That's <laughs> now I almost don't want to bring in a new pitcher, even if it would make sense. I don't... <laughs> oh. Did I lose you? Well, here we go. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. All right. Um, all right. So let's. Uh... Oh, gosh, we just need base runners somehow. I know you've got like all those good defenders. I think they're ground. Oh, no. You've got a couple fly ball guys, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to bat flip. All right. All right. Let's see if it'll let me just pull a card off the top. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Never. Never, of course. I think if you click away from it and then hover back over it. Yeah, there we go. You're right. Uh, all right. Big moment. Tyler Proxy. Another player substitutes for Tyler Proxy. Draw a card. Well, I am going to substitute for Tyler Proxy. Okay. And Pablo Emarjante is going to come in. And oh. it's a ding dong. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna play Hugo. Of course, you can defend against players revealed with a bat flap. All right, so it won't get an out, but holds him to a single. It holds him to a single. He is not fast. Uh, I do draw a card for Tyler Proxy's ability, however. Okay, okay, all right, man. I'm first. What are we gonna do here? All right, so the go-ahead run will come to the plate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the winning run, I should say. Okay, this is going to be... <laughs> this is probably not going to... Oh, that could be interesting. Uh... Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to play Enrique Hardinero. When another player substitutes for Enrique Hardinero, advance all your runners one base. All right, so he's a one ground ball. He is a one ground ball. Oh, no. Oh. All right. Well, we're not going to see history tonight. A Kurt Workhorse will come on. The 
catch. Uh, all right, and I actually, gosh, is it worth it? Uh, oh, and I get to pitcher. search my yeah, deck. Yeah, you get for to search your, your deck for a pitcher. All right, so that's an out. We both grab a card. I'm down to my last out. Oh, you struck it. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to uh, discard Boo Boo Phillips for his discard ability. Your opponent reveals their hand. They discard a card of your choice from their hand. All right. Oh, yeah, Javier Lanzador situation is not acceptable. Yeah, Javier Lanzador can take a hike. And so that one wasn't an injure. That was just a straight discard. Okay. And now then... Oh, okay. Here we go. 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 Okay. So, Devontae Gunk, I should have done this first. Devontae Gunk is going to walk, finally. First walk of the game. Oh. And his ability is uh, anytime you discard, he advances one base. So I should have done that first to get the guy on the third, but whatever. All right. And then what have we got? We can't we can't get out. This is the key here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so somebody's gonna have to do it with their bat. Someone's gonna have to do it with their bat. I think you've got some threes in there. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> uh oh. I think I think I. I think I've got something doable. All right. Uh, Spike Liu is going to hit for two. When a defender's played against Spike Liu, your opponent discards a card at random from their hand. So he's hitting. Uh, let's see. Uh, discard the card. Um, all right. I'm gonna. I am gonna play. I'm gonna play Corey. Um, and then, oh, that's it. He's your closer. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Discard well, if yeah, so you were running card 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 defense, right, right, right. So for his defensive three, he defends ground balls and fly balls. Do I have any magic? Anything I could do here? You know, I don't. You got me. That was it? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, yeah, because actually you would have runners at second and third. Oh, yeah, you did discard a card, but if, because... yeah, but there's an out. Yeah. So. Wow. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I just needed anything, anything to nudge those guys. And, yeah, if you would have done that first. Yeah, before um... I made you do the straight discard, yeah. that would have tied it up. Um, although you couldn't have played him at the beginning of the inning because I still had bump. 
on the bum. No, well, so what I did is I played um, Boo Boo Phillips right after you brought in uh, Workhorse. And I should have waited, walked, then made you discard. Oh, okay. But... Oh, it wouldn't. It actually wouldn't have mattered that much because. Oh no, it would have. That <laughs> it would have made it. It would have made some difference. Yeah. Uh, anyway, regardless, you got me. All right. Good game. Ooh. That, ooh, that was a good. One. That was tight. That yeah. That's a. It was an interesting mix of teams. Got to see um, a lot of the uh, special abilities. In play, yeah, mechanics came in came into play. We got to, gosh, got the, yeah, those aces just stifle you so bad. Uh, yeah, I, well, I got lucky with that first draw. Of being well, able to just have bump from the start, and I guess there is something to say to have a a pitcher start so that your opponent can't get that free walk. Yeah, um, well, and, and early on, I was like, I don't know if this is the right call because I was like, you're foregoing using him for his defense. Right. Um, but it just made, it just really shut down my offense from, from the get-go. So um, I had to go for like those, those solo homers. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, there we go. All right, well, Scott, thank you again uh, for joining us here. Um, a lot of fun. And again, for anybody... Tuning in, uh, this is still live uh, up on Kickstarter. Uh, let's let's go back. Let's check out live. If, um, oh, actually, I think it has gone up. Um, I forget what I said it was at the beginning, but uh, there's 409 backers now, and we're at what 21 137. So, all right, outstanding. And can you give us a an update on the voting? Is it still really close for the? Oh, here, give me a sec. I'll bring it up. The new team. We'll get a we'll get a breaking news here from. All right, and you and you said your team Super Pals, right? I am Team Super. Just the name before I even read the descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. I want to go to the form. And yeah, it was so I went to bed last night being like uh, a lot of people had voted already. I was like, oh, it's, it's going to be super pals. So I started doing a bunch of work um, uh, into the night last night, just like really cleaning up those that team. And uh, then around, I don't know, nine or 10 this morning, it was sort of a, another wave of votes came in. And then it was traders by you know, it was fifty one forty nine at that point. And oh wow! Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been really tight. It's only been like four or five votes separating it out of uh, over a hundred for the entire time. Right, okay. Give me one second here, it's loading up. Yeah, it's funny because the the sillier team name has like sort of the the more serious uh ability and then the sort of plain team name the uh the traders is the one that actually will lead to in-game silliness uh, right right <laughs> loading loading all the tension and cut it with 150 a knife. responses oh actually the uh the lead has grown 83 to 76 so there are now is now a what a seven a seven vote spread and it's in favor of the portland traders oh okay all right well so you heard it if you're a super pal <laughs> make sure you vote <laughs> so, um yeah you got uh, just a few hours yeah yeah all right um and then and that's if somebody backs now they'll see uh, the update, right? And they can go vote still? Uh, correct. Yeah, they can jump right into the updates and uh, and go ahead and vote. Uh, there's a link there. And, right. uh, and and the good news is that, you know, the, the fact that we were able to fund this and make it happen means that we, we will, you know, in the next year, year and a half, probably be able to release uh, another 
set expansion. So whatever does not make this cut uh, will almost certainly be in that expansion. Oh, excellent. All right. Good to hear. And excited to hear about an expansion already. That's <laughs> fantastic. Oh. Um, well, um, it's easy right. to say, easy, easier to say than to do. But, well, true. Uh, yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's our, our next step, hopefully, is to, to get another four teams to add on. Great, great. great All right. Great. Well, well, again, great. congratulations great. on a successful campaign uh, and looking forward to, uh, to much more bat flip action um, and uh, still shooting for end of year delivery, of course, pending the world. Uh, yeah, yeah. Our, we're crossing our fingers that, you know, the way that the – the timeline lays out in front of us. We should be able to have it to people if you like for Christmas time. Uh, but it, we're going to do everything that's in our power to make it happen. And then we just have to have the the shipping gods be in our favor. Sure. <laughs> Which, who knows, maybe by then things will be somewhat back to normal. But I, I guess we'll we'll cross that ocean when we come to it. So. Ah, well played. That, there, yeah, thank you. I would, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, again, thank you to Scott for uh, for joining us here tonight. Uh, the Kickstarter is for Batflip. There's a link in the show notes below. Uh, it is live. It's, uh, what is it, 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow mm -hmm. that it closes? All right. So uh, if you've been waiting, this is it. It is fully funded. It will, it will be coming out. Uh, and if you become a backer tonight, you will get a chance to vote in the um, uh, to see which new team will be added. Uh, to this Kickstarter campaign. So a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you have a great night. Uh, and until next time, uh, my name's Steve. Get out there, have fun, play games, and I will see you after further review. Have a good night, everybody.